I'm a long-term thinker, but in this particular case, I wasn't thinking about this for for a long time. I didn't want to do this when I was a kid. There was there was really no such thing in my mind about becoming a sister, um, much less a sister of Providence. Marilyn gave me an invitation to a come and see weekend here at St. Mary of the Woods, and I came to the weekend. And um, all of the women attending the weekend were younger than I was, and I was struck by that. Uh, and I think most of the young women in formation were also younger than I am. And so I was struck by that, too. And um, Friday night was okay. We got to know one another, had a shared, shared stories, shared introdu introductions. But on Sunday morning, Saturday morning, uh, I, uh, we came upon talking about a subject matter that I was very uncomfortable about. And I don't know why, but we were talking about uh, women in scripture. And that's kind of a, you know, a subject that women should be interested in. But I found that I was, I was not. And I think in reflecting upon that, why I was not had to do with the fact that I felt so uncomfortable being in the Mother House building. We were over at Providence. And there had been other sisters who had joined us. And the sisters seemed so content, so holy, if you were. Um, they just seemed to be of a different cloth than I felt I was cut out of. And so I got really nervous, really scared, and I wasn't paying any attention to the women in scripture conversation. And I actually left that, um, that um, meeting or that session. And I got in my car and I drove around the, uh, the country roads here in, near Terre Haute and I had this lengthy conversation with God, mostly me doing the talking and me uh, doing the talking rather loudly and angrily and just said, what on earth is this about? I can't possibly be called to this kind of a life. What on earth are you doing? I don't belong here. I don't have any skills that I could use here. So it just seems to be a, um, a mystery to me. And um, so anyway, you know, it got to be late afternoon and I figured I needed to go back. So I went back to the Come and See weekend and that evening one of the sisters who was in formation, she shared her story. And she ha happened to be one of the sisters who was extremely funny. And so her story, both her story of her childhood and how she came to be a sister of Providence, uh, was very, very, very funny. And so I laughed a lot that, uh, that night and I think that made me feel a little better. On Sunday morning, I went to church uh, for liturgy, and um, I was just sitting there watching the sisters assemble. And I think I had heard someone say that the church had been uh, newly remodeled a year or two previous. And uh, I became aware, it struck me about new and old, that here I was in a, uh, a newly remodeled building, and I was a new person coming to look at this congregation. And as I watched the sisters assemble, they seemed to belong there. And they, they seemed to be the, not older, but they seemed to be the more established, stable part of being in community. And still to this day, I love hearing the, I mean, seeing the sisters assemble. So anyway, it was that morning that I, it struck me uh, somehow that you too will call this place home. And uh, I didn't quite believe it because my home was in Chicago. Why would I call this my home? I get it now. I didn't then. Anyway, uh, right after the weekend was over with, I called Sister Marilyn and I told her and that I was joining the Sisters of Providence. And her remarks were, oh, well, that's just wonderful. I went home and told my parents and they kind of looked at me like, is she crazy? And then when I started to tell my siblings about this, I got kind of the same reaction. What on earth are you doing? What could this possibly be about that has anything to do with you? So if people didn't have um, a positive reaction, let's say, or a reaction that encouraged me. Um, but over time, they did, as I talked about it more and I seemed to be becoming much more serious about it, they did uh, support me a great deal 
and now um, I'm frequently introduced by my sisters as my sister, Sister Mary.